uh, this is how you post on Hootsuite. First, you choose the sort of that you want to make. You add all you want to post. So uh, you can choose, as you can see, there's uh, Twitter, there's Instagram, and there's Facebook there. Then you can, in the content section, write the caption. In the media section, you can upload the uh, media that you want to post. Uh, then you can also create a boost post or add, uh, run an ad on these posts by selecting the campaign. So once you log into your Facebook or once you log into your Instagram from, from Hootsuite, it gets an overall uh, understanding of what your Facebook and Instagram is. That way, if you want to run ads on this, then you can run ads also on this without having to go on uh, Facebook individually making. Uh, making a budget, uh, setting up a budget and then running that. You can just do it with a click here. It just makes a life easier. That's what Hootsuite is here for. And the uh, last but not the least thing is you can either schedule it for later or you, you could post it. So these are the four or five basic things that Hootsuite provides as a social media platform, social media dashboard platform. And uh, added benefits to it as well the which i spoke you uh, uh, the person has to publish it on twitter and instagram and is going to publish uh, right right away so this is the content that we've i talked about earlier etc you could schedule it across 90 days i think even Planning for 30 days is an average that we do in social media marketing. Uh, when we, uh, by the end of the month, by this period that went from 26th to 30th, we plan for the next month. And this is once our planning is done, once our approval is done, we can schedule the posts in the first week of, of uh, the coming month. We can be just, uh, we can just, uh, say we can just see how our po posts are doing. And uh, we can see the analytics. We just don't have to post every day. We don't run one account. We have multiple accounts running. So this is how it makes our life easier. So this is where you can, this is how you can see once you've scheduled all your posts across the month, uh, across pl platforms. You can see that the person is posting uh, every second day every alternate uh, alternatively this is a very good strategy that we usually use in social media marketing alternate day posting is uh, usually good for brands it doesn't look too much and it doesn't look too less as well so this is an overview which we can uh, see in the publisher section which i talked about in the previous uh, slides uh, this is how it looks once you've scheduled all your posts uh, this is uh, again about scheduling post if you want to reschedule a post you could do it as well before uh, time has uh, run so if you are posting for fifth of the next month you can edit it by the third of uh, uh, third or fourth of that month that's just pretty obvious this is where it gets exciting so uh, in the inbox section uh, this is what facebook is all also started doing and instagram has also started but this was there before uh, all of these platforms came up with you can assign or unassign the chats that you replied to and not replied to that way you can of how many people you've replied to if this is a sales uh, message or if it's a uh, just a random message or a spam or anything of that sort that way your inbox is cleared and you can also have keywords set where you can have a a reply set for certain keywords uh, which i spoke about earlier so that way it just uh, removes the manual work that we have to type in all the replies for everyone we could just have uh, a reply set and they uh, they could be posted the moment a certain word is targeted this is where analytics comes uh, you can see that a person has made 36 posts and they've had 24 followers and uh, steady trend uh, there are more analytics involved you can see how many people you've reached how many new accounts you've reached what is the impression of your post uh, how many likes how many views 
uh, all of those basic metrics along with uh, metrics for competitors as well you could also uh, how other brands are doing as i talked about and you could also look at metrics like where are your people from uh, where where are your followers from where is how is your growth is it steady year on year is it steady month on month week on week these are some of the things that we really need to look at when uh, when doing social media marketing and uh, that's what hootsuite provides us it's very similar to what facebook and instagram are doing right now in the last two years they've come up with these metrics but we need to be aware that hootsuite was doing this way before time it was doing this back in 2000 been doing to uh, 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 throughout the period but yeah uh, facebook and instagram provides these metrics. 